Hey there. Hi. So, hey, so I'm here with Carrie McKenna of Dark Gallery, and she is celebrating the uh, opening of her new solo show. So uh, I thought I'd talk with her a little bit and find out about the show and um, a few other things. So thanks for joining, Carrie. Sure. Shall um, I just start with a little bit about the show and then maybe there's other questions? Yeah, tell us about the show. So uh, this exhibit is 16 self-portraits that I actually made um, that I actually consider to be a theatrical presentation. They are characters. So they are me, but they're not me. And each character, I've written a four line story about what's happening in this scene of their life. So um, what I did was place my face, hands and props on the copier bed, of an actual just office, plain old black and white office copier, and I hit the copy button, and these are what came out. And they are a representation of women's experience in the world uh, through business, personal, a little spirituality, a little humor, a little anxiety. So this one's a little anxiety, and this one's a little humor. <laughs> So they're really something that pretty much everyone can relate to. And I love it that they're in this uh, particular exhibit space because it's, it's very intimate, but also expansive. So there's enough room between them to really experience each one separately and individually, and then as a whole. Fantastic. So it sounds like emotion, on the emotional spectrum, you've got the whole scale. Yeah. Uh, and I'm kind of curious, how, how did this come about in relation to our current paradigm? Was there any relation or had this already been thought out? Well, this is a series that I did a couple of years ago. So it's not really related to this period of time in the pandemic, although there is a sense of a couple of them have to deal with, you know, how difficult life is. Um, but what's really striking to me about these is that they really, to me, play into this year being the 100th anniversary of women's right to vote. Mm -hmm. So this kind of, to me, gives a, a view of life today and how women are experiencing life today with the fact that they have gained so many freedoms um, over these last hundred years, starting with that initial freedom of the right to vote. Hmm. So that's, that's a powerful inspiration then. It sounds like that was yeah. inspiration. Well, and the, the ultimate inspiration for these, just the process of them was, um, I had learned about the artist photographer, Cindy Sherman, mm -hmm. who takes photographs of herself as characters in movies or just in life. And, um, you know, everybody <laughs> photo photocopies their butts on the office copier. <laughs> and I thought there's got to be a much more artistic approach for that particular media. Because after all, a copier is just a giant camera. It's taking a photo of whatever is on that glass. Hmm. Interesting. Yeah, that's fascinating. I love her. What a great inspiration too. Yeah. Um, so how did you, um, how did you, just for backstory, how did you first come into art? How did you first know you were an artist? Well, I was very fortunate now, I know now, uh, that I grew up in an artistic family. My great grandfather was an oil painter, landscape painter here in Colorado. And he would go out pretty much at the turn of the century and through the depression. So his works, are typically from 1915 or so all the way through 1935 or so. So um, he would go out in the landscape here and paint um, plein air and bring them back down here and walk up and down 17th Street downtown and sell them to the bankers and lawyers. So over the time of my mother's life, she wound up um, going around and trying to find all of these and, and bought up a lot of them wherever she could find them. And so we as a family have a very large collection of his artwork. Mm -hmm. 
And in addition to that, my grandmother, his daughter, um, actually created a lot of hook rug um, creations and she actually designed most of them. So, you know, you get a little pattern or whatever, but she actually started designing her own and we have a whole lot of those. And then we also, my mother was an artist as well. And so she did a lot of, she dabbled in all kinds of stuff. So she did a lot of stained glass. She did screen printing. She did painting. She did um, actually trivets with tile. I, you know, so it's, I, I think I grew up in an artistic environment. Um, my family, my mother in particular, took us to the art museum. So it was just kind of part of our life. So I've kind of almost always considered myself an artist of some sort. Um, and I did finally go to uh, get a, ba a bachelor's degree in fine art and was at that point feeling able to actually say I am an artist. And what brought that moment around? Well, I, I think our teachers probably started telling us to s start saying that. <laughs> you're, a, you're an artist, say it. You're actually able to claim that for yourself. So. Right. Great. Yeah. Well done. So um, I can't wait to see the show myself in person. Is there anything else you want to share with listeners about uh, you or the show? Well, I will say that this, this exhibit in particular is um, very different from my usual artwork. Um, so it is uh, what, I, what I, the reason I do art is to create imagery that allows people to realize their interconnection with each other, with nature, uh, with the universe at large, and to, um, to revel in that interconnection with themselves and all that is. So this is a very specific expression of that with a particular media. I usually work in acrylic on canvas with a lot of texture. So um, I find myself pursuing a diff you know, different media to, to convey different aspects of um, the, the message that I'm intending. Mm -hmm. Yeah, fantastic. It looks like you succeeded in a, a, a powerful message this time. So Thank you very much. Yeah, well, thanks for joining and uh, wish you all the best with the show. Thank you so much.